Hi guys, and welcome back, or welcome, to Mama Jess Knits. I'm Jess, coming to you from Virginia. Today is June the 6th, about 1020-ish, and this is episode 48. I did not record an episode in May, so this one's going to be really long, so buckle up, get your favorite drink, maybe a snack, and I hope you enjoy this podcast because we're going to, I'm going to go over everything that I've finished, um, not everything I'm working on because you guys know me, I have way too many whips, um, but we are going to go over basically the socks that I have cast on for uh, my family for their box of socks, and I have a crochet project to show you, actually. Um, I'm also going to share what I've gotten in the mail in the last mm, week or two. I'm not going all the way back to May. Um, and then I'm going to share what I have planned to cast on for Summer Sock Camp. Yay! I'm wearing my Summer Sock Camp 2023 shirt. Uh, Summer Sock Camp is um, something that Kay of um, the Crazy Sock Lady does every year. It's um, pretty laid back. Um, you knit socks. She doesn't care if it's baby socks or adult socks, shorties, whatever. You just have to knit. Maybe crochet? I don't know if crochet is included in that either. Don't know. I think... I know for sure knit, because that's all I do. Um, the lighting probably isn't that great. It is cloudy and gloomy outside. But um, I did not want to put off doing this podcast any longer. I kept meaning to do it, meaning to do it, and it's just been crazy in my house. The month of May was insane. I was dyeing yarn for the Virginia Blue Ridge Yarn Crawl. Um, I finished up all of the Frankly Lisa pre-orders. Thank you so much if you ordered a skein of that. I really appreciate it. Um, I finished up all those pre-orders and I said that I wasn't going to put any more in the shop until June. It is now June. So after I'm done recording this, I am going to, um, put up another pre-order for frankly, Lisa. Um, I am planning on taking off from dying next week. I don't know if I'm going to take the full week. Or just a few days. We've got a bunch of doctor's appointments and s some stuff planned. So, um, but I definitely need a break. I have been um, dying urine like crazy, which I really appreciate you guys. I love it. Wouldn't have it any other way. But I do need a small break. <laughs> Gonna use that gift card that I got for Mother's Day and go get a massage at some point in time. Maybe next week. I don't know. Okay, moving along because we've got a lot to cover. I'm going to start with my finished objects, and I have four finished objects to show you. Um, I'm going to do these in order that I finish them. So first up are my, I have not woven in ends, so please forgive me, my Frankly Lisa socks. There are two. Um, I used... Wow, that's bright. Grinning cat and turquoise for my cuffs, heels, toes. So those are done. I'm gonna fold these and set them aside because these will go in my box of socks. And then the second pair that I finished. Uh, are um this is um oh 
oh my goodness. I have the label in my book uh, that I write down everything I finished. It is, the name of the colorway is Jelly Fish Jubilee. They're by Rising Tide Fibers. There are two. This was um an exclusive to Nitty Natty when she does her sock week, which um she has coming up soon. It's in July. I don't remember the dates or anything, but check out Nitty Natty's channel for all of that or follow her on Instagram. Um her sponsor products go on sale um this Friday actually June the 7th so tomorrow this month's going by pretty quickly I can't believe it's almost the 7th already all right and then my third finished object are my uh watermelon socks I started these last year my little gnome is by Lock and Lou so cute. I had to put it on there because he's got a little watermelon and he had a little watermelon hat. There are two. Um, so this was actually my first um first pair of socks for the summer sock camp. Um I'm just gonna leave that on there. Um made out of Mama Jeff's knits yarn. I am currently sold out of these kits. I just sold out Saturday, I think. Sunday. Sunday, I think. Um, I am going to dye some more and get those in the shop. Um, follow my Instagram. And if you want to know when those are back in the shop. Because I will post it there. Sorry, I'm looking for a place to put these. Uh, okay. The fourth socks that I have knit I don't have these are too small for the my blockers but I finished these yesterday and these are my night forest colorway which also is not in the shop but I have been asked to dye some up so it will be some in the shop soon night forest and these are for my daughter, Avery. Um, she gets to go ahead and get these instead of these going in her box because they were supposed to be for Christmas 2023. A little behind. It's okay. Um, so that is all of my finished objects. I do have some half-finished objects. Let me that aside and I will get those out let's see we're gonna start with um, this yarn is from Lolo did it um, she was doing a hippo for birthstone club and um so this is march's birthstone this one i think i don't know if this is from lock and lou or pitter patter polymer but my daughter wanted that on there so i put it on there so i've got one of these finished and um I do have the second one started, so I guess this is half finished objects and a little bit of width, but I do have the second one started, just on the cuff. Alright, I'm going to put that aside because I do have one more half finished object. And then I'll bring this bag back because it has another whip in it. This half finished object and whip is being housed in my ginger snap fibers bag. Um, let's see. Put this 
this on the blocker because it is so pretty. All right, it is a spells and thing color spells and things colorway. This charm is by the Littlest Charm Co. I believe. Um, the colorway is. Oh, here we go. Spells and things. The colorway is sugar quill. Try not to get that. Make it so where you can read it. And those are by Freckled Whimsy. And here is the second one. Just barely started. Um, but yeah, it started. I mean, I have at least 40, if not more, sock whips on the go. Yes, 40. <sighs> I like to be able to rotate through things. All right, that's the only project in that bag, so I can go ahead and put that up. And we will move along to Whips in Progress. And... All right, so the second one, this is a, a scrappy thread. Is that right? Scrappy threads? The scrappy thread bag. And it has two whips in here. It's got the burst stone one, and then it has a, another freckled whimsy yarn, which is her... Um, Pisces colorway. It's also for my daughter that has a birthday in March. So, let's see if I can get those out. I've got my little netting around it to keep it all nice and nice and neat, but it is the Pisces colorway. And oops, here we go. All right, and that is it for oops, that bag. My goal is to try to have two pairs of socks per family member on the go at all times. So that particular child has three um, because she claimed the sugar quill socks, but I am gonna try to get two pairs of socks out of the sugar quill because another child wants um, socks out of those as well. Next up is being housed in a uh, Robin's nest bag. And it is another Freckled Whimsy. Can you tell I like Freckled Whimsy? Um, this is her Libra colorway. And I am on the gusset of this one. So, got a little bit more work to do on that one. And this is the child that will get the um, second pair of the sugar quill socks if I her foot's smaller than the the uh, than the one daughter's, so I'm really hoping that I can get um, two pairs out of that. I think I can if I do like hilts, toes, and cuffs in a different colorway. Let's see. Sorry that you guys can hear the dog bark. Um, apparently something just got delivered from Amazon. Um, and he does not like that. So he's going crazy. All right, let's see here. I've got a whole little list here. We're gonna, this is being housed in a bag that I made. I do have more fabric of this, so I'm gonna make up some more of these bags some some point in time. Um, I am gonna start making my bags and putting them in my shop again. I do have some already made. I need to get pictures. Um, 
and get those loaded in my shop. But there has been several people ask me about when am I going to make bags again and that kind of stuff. I made them for the crawl and they did pretty well at the crawl. So, um, cause I did a trunk show as, at the crawl as well. All right. This next sock is from the little foxes called long walk home. I don't know if I got any more done on this since the last time I showed it. I think I've gotten a couple of rows, but not many. Also in this bag is a three by the sea colorway called, oh no, okay, let's not mess it up, called Tea in Wonderland and Stark Raven Mad. It was a sock set. Um, and I've gotten this much done, oops, on this one. getting a little blown out but it's very pretty Let's see put that back in my oh no okay now let's try to get this back in the bag I love that I can fit two sock whips I try to put the two that I'm working on for each person in one bag makes it a little easier. All right, let's see. In another bag by Ginger Snap Fibers, I think this was one of my the first bags that I got from her. One of the first bags. Um, this colorway is. Uh, by I Knit Two Pearl Two Yarns. It is called The Study Tree. It's a Gilmore Girls inspired colorway. And I've gotten a little bit more done on this too. And I had to put a little book or a little owl holding a book, Progress Keeper, on there from Lock and Lou. Because totally appropriate for Rory. And so I have some yarn in here, um, but it's, I don't have it cast on yet or anything. So I'll show that once I get it cast on for that kid. Uh, let's see here. What is next? And another Ginger Snap Fibers bag. Have I mentioned I like her bags? Um, this is a colorway that I dyed. So a Mama Jess Knits colorway. I am getting ready to start, or have I already started? No, getting ready to start the hill, I believe. And this is a progress keeper that was given out during the yarn crawl if you bought uh, so much of my yarn. It's my little sheep emblem or I um, logo. That's the word I'm looking for. Super cute. So I had to put it on here because it's purple. It matches these. So this colorway is called The Journey. And I'm also going to dye up some of this and get it in the shop because I've had a couple, of people, a couple of people ask for it, that as well. Um... The two that I just showed, they do have other socks on needles. I just forgot to bring them back here. That's okay. Like I said, I'm trying to have two socks per family member on needles. Let's see. Okay. Being housed in a Barley Pearls bag. A little library book. Or library card bag I have um, I call these my Michigan socks but the name of the yarn is actually first class is the colorway name and it's by Yarny Mammoth I am on the gusset 
Need to get cracking on these some more. Uh, put that down in there. The other sock that is in here is uh, one of my colorways. It is called The Ridge. It is a Outlander inspired yarn. And I am starting the heel flap on this one. There we go. Also don't have any of this in the shop. I'm <laughs> sorry guys. I'm knitting with all, pretty much all the yarns that are mine that I'm knitting with are not in the shop and I do apologize for that. I've just been so busy dyeing other stuff and I have not gotten the colors that I'm working with in the shop. I will though, I promise. All right, let's see. Up next is in a bag by Red's Lady Creates. Super cute. And in here, I have two different socks. Let's see here. I'm going to show this one first because I don't have much done on it. I only worked on it a tiny little bit. This is a yarnable colorway. It is from, let's see here. I want to say it's from 2021. Let's see. Yep, September 2021. It is a colorway called Born to be Mild. So that is all that I have done on that. I'm just starting the leg of it. Also need to work on those, but I cast these on and I had a rip oh goodness gracious a really hard time putting them down and this is a pair of um felici in the vampire vibes colorway and i am well onto the leg of this one but yeah so fun i love felici i love they're my original self-striping yarn uh, that I ever started working with. Um, and then they quit selling it. They have some fella chini or something now, which I haven't tried. Um, because I have an entire bin of Felici. And I also have some Felici that couldn't fit in the bin set aside so it's time that I start knitting that up so that's what I'm doing all right uh, oh I only have two more whips to show you all right we have in another ginger snap fiber bag this may have been the first one. Or I think I may have gotten this one and the, the snowflake one together. can't remember. But being housed in this bag is a yarn that I dyed that is... Um, it was an exclusive for Summer Sock Camp 2022, I believe, for... Um, K the Crazy Sock Lady, and this is Summer Sock Camp. And I think I'm close to starting the heel flap, maybe. I don't know. Maybe about 10 rows, and then I'll start it. And I'm not, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, this is a lock and loo. Little sock, because, you know, Summer Sock Camp. Um... But yeah, so that, <coughs> excuse me. So that is that. Okay, and then the last whip that I'm going to show you after I get a little sip of coffee. 
the last whip is actually a crochet. Um, I think I may have mentioned that I'm using um, my Ruby and Roses Advent from 2022. 2023 and then 2024 are all going to be made into a Battenberg blanket. I'm not quite finished crocheting the squares from the 2022, but I'm on like day 23 or something. So I'm close to being finished with the first advent calendar. But I decided that I wanted to go ahead and start another Battenberg blanket, just totally random scraps. So I did. I um, have a whole bunch of little squares made up. This is my secret garden colorway. Um, sage, my co sage colorway. Um, this is did I name this colorway? One of my mystery colorways. Um, Marches, I believe. Uh, this is Flower Shop, which was uh, April's mystery colorway. This is 80s Remix. This one is Some Like It Bright. And then, so those are all the squares that I have to add. I've already added, Frankly Lisa, and the three colors that I use for Frankly Lisa. Jellyfish Jubilee is these three. And then this one is um, Night Forest. So yeah, I've already started. Battenberg. I just need to add the other squares and just keep going with it. So yeah, I'm excited to have that going. That is all of my whips. Well, that I'm showing today. <laughs> like I said, I still have quite a few that um, are on needles that I haven't shown. All right, so since it is summer sock camp, I'm just gonna quickly go through um, the yarn that I have set aside for what I'm planning to knit during summer sock camp. Don't know that it's gonna, that I'll get through it all, but all right, some of this I'm not going to take out of the packaging. I'm just going to kind of show it. Um, sorry, I meant to take it out of packaging before I started and forgot. But I did take like what I've gotten in the mail out of the packages. But let's see. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. So we'll just go through the ones that are very crinkly first, okay? Three by the sea. This is the fireside colorway. Three by the sea, smooth sailing. Three by the sea, coral wreath. Trying to get this to where it's the least crink uh, crinkly. All right. The next ones I'm going to show, one is Pretty Twisted Yarn, Hot Girl Summer. The other is Kemper's Cozy Creation in the Not Your Mama's Windbreaker. I do believe both of those were a um, exclusive colorway for um, Twin Stitches Design. Pretty Twisted, Hot Girl Summer, Not Your Mama's Windbreaker. Okay. And then I have, which 
one of these was a uh, exclusive to Twin Stitches. Uh, I have a Lamb Woman Knits. Actually, I can take these out of the bag because it's not, it's like a Ziploc, so it's not super crinkly. Lamb Woman Knits. This one is called Tank Tops and Flip Flops. Comes with two minis. And then I pulled a Freckled Whimsy. This is It's My Party. There we go. All right. I'm not going to sew that up. I'm just going to put it back in there. I have a Nomadic Yarns Secret Garden. The self striping look it's gonna be so pretty I'm so excited to knit that I have um, I'm gonna get these going pretty soon I think I have a um, PNW I think um, PNW pearl pearls and this is um, Stars and Stripes Forever. I saw somebody knit this up and it's so pretty. Um, speaking of like red, white, and blue patriotic yarn, I have some red, white, and boom um, sock sets in my Etsy shop, just so you guys know. And then being housed in a bag that I made I have already caked up. Um, this is Beautiful Day by me. And I'm pairing it with Iris. I don't have any of that in my shop, I don't think. I think I have some I need to put in the shop but I have not. And then a Red's Lady Creates bag. So cute. I have in this bag, um, this is Emma's yarn in her, um, what is the name of this? Love My Local Yarn Shop. This was available on Local Yarn Shop Day. There you go. I have that caked up to cast on. And then in another bag that I made, I have two in here. I have, let's see, I have some Like It Bright getting blown out that is very hot pink with yellow which kind of turned orange um, blue um, green purple speckles can't wait to cast that on and then I have 80s remix I have not seen anything knit up with this, and this is one of my old, older colorways, so I'm, I'm excited to cast that on. And that is what I have planned for Summer Sock Camp. I also have another uh, whip, since whips are allowed. I have um, one that I've got. I'm on the second sock of that one, but I didn't bring it back here. Um, so that is all the ones that I'm planning on casting on for Summer Slot Camp. Plus, I'm planning on using all the ones that I'm knitting for my family as well for Summer Slot Camp. I gotta pause for a second, guys. I've been talking a lot. All right. I actually got through that pretty quick. I'm only at, like, 35 minutes. 
Um, I'm going to show you what all I've gotten in the mail. I'm going to save the, um, June's monthly clothes for last. That way you can see like the stuff I've gotten before them. So that being said, um, I got Bumblebee Acres. Um, they're, this one is May's Hogwarts of Magical Makers Yarn Club. I'm not even going to say the, the name of this because I mispronounce it every time, but I would fail as a wizard. There you go. <laughs> and then I also signed up for, or I have gotten, um, oh my goodness, Yarnbrary. Uh, she has a Hogwarts Library Club. And I got that. This is May's, um, Transfiguration Today sock set. Both of these clubs have June orders up, but Bumblebee Acres closes tomorrow, June the 7th. Um, Yarnberry might keep hers open until she sells out. She usually is really good about putting a... Um, like last chance to order post up but this is on her biography sock and it is so squishy guys it is an 85 15 blend and it's just oh so soft i can't wait to i've never knit with her yarn um i got this and April's, I think April was my first yarn I'd ever gotten from her. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, this is my first time ever ordering from Lola Bean. And I ordered her, um, her Black Label yarn. And think she does it quarterly so this was her June I believe yeah I think this was labeled June could be wrong don't quote me she does have a order up for September which I've purchased um, this one is on her bean sprout sock set which is an 8020, and the color is Journey Will in the Sky. How beautiful is that? Not something I would like normally purchase for myself, but I'm like surprised at how much I like it, and I can't wait to to knit it up. So yeah, Lola Bean. My first time ordering from them, or from her. And then, not yarn, I got, I had to get these because I missed them like originally when she put it up and kind of forgot about them actually. And then I saw Sarah from, oh my word, I'm gonna mess up her username. Hang on, because I don't wanna mess up her username. From, I wanna say must love wool, but I, I'm afraid that that's not right. Let's see. 
Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Sarah. Love sock wool. I knew there was love and wool in the title. Okay. But she posted a video of her socks that she's doing for summer sock camp. And look. They're coffee gnomes. He's holding a little coffee cup and she's holding a little coffee bean. I got really lucky and I got the last mister when I went and ordered. So, I got to put those on some, some little socks. I just haven't yet. I just got those um, a couple days ago. All right. I have been ordering... From a homespun house, her, sorry for the crinkling, I forgot to take it out of the bag. I've been ordering her Happy Birthday Hogwarts Yarn Club. And I got yesterday, so everybody may not have this, so if you don't have it and you ordered Happy Birthday Draco, Malfoy. Look away if you don't want to see it. Um, I'm going to show it. One, two, three. Isn't that so pretty? My kids are going to claim this. I already know. I already know it. Because they love a lot of them love this color for their favorite color. All right. You can look now. I put it away. Moving along to the stuff that just arrived in the mail. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you everything that came in the yarnable. Because I don't feel like it. Um, but I am going to show you the yarn. So if you have not gotten your yarnable yet. Um, look away. Um, I will tell you the name of this is called Amasaka for you. All right, I'm going to show it in one, two, three. My kids are going to claim this too, I imagine. I need to hide this whenever I start knitting it. Oops, upside down, my bad. All right, you guys can look now. I put it away. And last but not least, I'm going to show my... Um, Freckled Whimsy Clubs. And guys, I'm so sad because she canceled her um, her Harry Potter um, themed club. The um, Magical Mischief. This is the last one we're going to get. Which I love colors in it but I'm sad that um she canceled it but I know there's a bunch of stuff going around right now so who knows but anyway I'm getting ready to show it the name of it is the gray lady one two three isn't it gorgeous All right, I, I put it away. I've told myself that I'm not allowed to knit the Magical Mischief colors yet until I finish knitting all of my spells and things, which was the year before. I think I have three or four more I have to knit up, maybe five, before I can allow myself to cast those on. <laughs> All right, I have three more freckled onesies to show you. Her yarn of the month. The name of it is Scrumdiddlyumptious. 
and I'm going to show it in one, two, three. Isn't that pretty? All right, I've put that down. And now I'm going to show her Halloween club. And the name of it is Free Broom Rides, which I love the name of that. It's so cute. And I'm going to show it in one, two, oops, three, sorry. All right, that one's put away. And the last one that I'm going to show is her Christmas club. And it is called Peppermint Cocoa by the Fire. <clears throat> and I'm going to show it in one, two, three. I want to cast this one on too. All right, I put it away. And that is everything that I have to show you all for today. Um, sorry, I have a hair on my hand. I really want to cast on the Halloween ones, but I have not yet. Really want to cast on the Christmas ones. However, I have... One on the needles, which I think I'm at the gusset on the first sock. And I have at least another one of her Christmas ones caked up. I want to make sure that I get Christmas socks in all of my family's socks. Box of socks as well. So I need to get cracking because it's June. We're officially halfway through the year crazy wasn't it just january i mean seriously all right guys that is everything i have to show you um i'm gonna talk about my shop a little bit i am planning on something super exciting i will be getting all of June's Mystery Club yarn and sock sets out tomorrow. Yes, I believe tomorrow. Um, I think it is my favorite month so far that I've done. That's all I'm going to say. I love it. I know I dyed it, but I love it. Um... So I have those going out. I do have some pre-orders for Some Like It Bright going out. Some pre-orders for 80s Remix going out. I'm planning on putting a pre-order up in the shop for, frankly, Lisa. Hopefully it'll be up by the time you watch this video. Um... I have some bags that I got to take photographs of. Today's not the day to do it because it's rainy outside. Um, but as soon as I get those photos of those bags up, I will list those in my shop. And I am planning on doing a mystery box. The mystery box is going to have a project bag in it. Um, I believe a sock set in it that's kind of going to match or go with the project bag and then I've got some other goodies that are going to go in it one of which probably just arrived whenever the dog started barking earlier anyway <coughs> excuse me um so that is my shop news I will be pretty much all summer long I'm going to be adding um like colorways that I've been sold out of for a while. Um, I'm going to 
first I'm going to go with the ones that were the most requested, like Night Forest, Journey, The Journey, um, The Frankly Lisa Pre-Order. Um, then I'm going to basically go through... Well, I'll probably do some of the ridge too because, um, you know, I'm knitting with it. So I'm showing it. Um, and then I'm going to go through my dye book and dye up stuff that I haven't had in my shop for a while. Like unicorn dust, pop rocks. Um, there's a whole bunch in there that I haven't had a shop in a while. Um, I'm going to do some more watermelon sets. Because those have been requested. Um, there was something else that was requested that I put up in the shop. So I have added some stuff that like didn't sell at my trunk show. That's all been added to my Etsy shop. A some of it's already sold out. Um, so I apologize, but I didn't like list everything that I put up, but I just put up a thing saying that I had some stuff, new stuff listed in the shop. So it's gone except for a couple of things. Um, there's road, white and boom, uh, sock sets in the Etsy shop. Um, I will have some matching patriotic bags going in the Etsy shop. I have, let me think. One, two, three, four, Four or five patriotic prints. I can't remember. Um, all that's going to be going up in the Etsy shop. Slowly but surely. Uh, just keep in mind I am one person. I can only do so much in a day. Um, so that's all my shop news. And then reading and watching. I'm reading four books. Yeah, four books as a treat for dying up um, Frankly Lisa and getting that out and dying up yarn for the trunk show and getting that out and our tr my trunk show and the yarn crawl. I got myself a Kindle paper white. So I, um, I've only had it two days. And so far, I love it. So I'm super excited, excited about that. I'm um, reading Outlander, which I have sadly been reading for 10 years, you guys. The first book. I keep reading, putting it down, listening to it, stopping it, moving on to other books. So I am bound and determined to finish this book this summer. I'm 60% through. So I'm going to get it done. Um, I'm reading the second Akatar book, Court of Mist and Fury, I believe. Um, the second Virgin Rivers book, which is Shelter Mountain, I believe. And I'm reading a Colleen Hoover book called Without Merit, um, which I haven't heard a lot of people saying that they've read that one or whatnot but I picked it up at the library and I'm not very far into it but I'm reading that um so not only is it summer sock camp it's a summer reading program at the library which I need to go and sign up for keep forgetting it started June 1st so I love this time of year I love the reading program I love the summer sock camp all my favorite things um watching on tv i am re-watching outlander for the bajillionth time i am watching some podcasts trying to get caught up on those because i'm a little behind on some of them and hubby and i finished watching survivor uh, we have not picked another show to watch together yet that's really Kind of all I'm watching. I can't think of anything else that I'm that I'm watching. Uh, I'm not watching a lot. 
Um, and that's it. So that's my long-winded, almost an hour update. Show you what I've gotten in the mill, what I'm working on, shop news, all that lovely stuff. I can hear the pitter-patter of my dogs outside of my bedroom door. So I need to get off here and go grab my package off the front porch. And I've got some yarn to wash and some yarn to dye. So I'm gonna jump off here. Hope you guys have a great day and keep on with your knitting, crocheting, all your fun crafty stuff. Bye guys.